Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing a brewery with which I've had only just limited uh, familiarity. Golden Road Brewing out of LA. Um, despite the fact that they are a West Coast beer, it seems like they, we just don't get too much of their beers here in uh, the beer desert that is Las Vegas. But uh, today's selection is the Wolf Pup Session IPA. You can get a better view of it with a little less glare. Uh, you know, and naturally because it's in a can, I give it extra points. Haven't tried it yet, so I don't know exactly what to give it. Um, this has a, uh, I'm guessing, brewed, of, brewed on date of the 23rd of June, 2017. I'm, you uh, you uh, IPA purists will say, you know, any IPA that's more than 20 days old should be poured down the uh, drain. I did go to Untapped and check this out. And 19 of my friends have checked in on this, given an overall score of 3.75. And everyone has, there's been a 54,000 rankings of it coming in at 3.68. So that ain't bad. That ain't bad, especially for a session IPA. Session IPAs, you know, ra rarely does anybody set the world on fire with their session IPA. Uh, this does list the ABV, which is 4.5. That's about right for a session IPA. You don't normally expect much in the way of... Um, uh, a particularly high alcohol content for sessions. That's the hard, that's their deal with sessions is that they're not uh, uh, particularly high alcohol. So as usual, I'm going to be using my Tanea uh, Creek IPA glass, and uh, I'm going to tell you one more time. Um, as always, Tuesday nights, go in, lay down six bucks, you get a glass just like this, full of a house brew. Come back with that same glass. Um, you get uh, three dollar refills. Take that glass home with you. Come back next Tuesday. Bring that glass. $3 refills on house beers, most house beers, that is. So um, hell of a deal if you're here in Vegas. And if you're looking for something to do other than gamble, uh, you want to go someplace that has neither smoking nor gambling, Naya Creek is the place. They got great beer. A little bit of a head on that. Well, already tasting and smelling super duper uh, grapefruit hops. Going to be pouring this in. Those of you know that lately I've had some bad luck with... Uh, some pours, but uh, this one seems to be coming out all right. Got lots of carbonation on this. I'm going to call this, um, I'm actually going to call this high carbonation. Uh, lots and lots of uh, bubbles going through there, as you can see. Uh, now that I've got it out and get it a little bit of air to it, <sighs> I'm smelling pine and, pine and um, grapefruit more than anything. In fact, I would say grapefruit is pretty much... Uh, is the primary uh, note on the bouquet, and pine is the secondary note. Looking to see if there's anything more refreshingly hoppy with a wildly aromatic citrus character. Citrus is right, man. I am definitely getting a, a lot of grapefruit on this. Uh, and this is a very, um, very yellow in color, definitely yellow. I can see on the camera this is coming through a little bit more golden than uh, the color actually is. It's actually closer to a natural uh, yellow. Carbonation is still going strong. You can see that head nice and spongy isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's see if I can't maybe crank the last bit of this beer into this glass. There we go. Okay. And uh, I do believe I forgot to mention that I paid a buck ninety nine for this 12 ounce can. Uh, but I did mention that it has a 4.5 ABV, so um, it's in a can. It lists, uh, it's got a brood on date. It has an ABV. So far, uh, I'm liking everything about it. Um, so let's uh, dig right in. Cheers. <sighs> that is a session a IPA. That is exactly what that is. <clears throat> it's not overly bitter. It's not high in alcohol. I'm actually getting a little bit of, uh, I'm, I'm getting actually a fair amount of citrus uh, on the aftertaste. Uh, the initial um, mouthfeel, kind of spiky, uh, probably I'd say a medium high. Clean tasting, um, just a slight, slight hint of, of uh, I want to say clove. There's some kind of flavor in there, some sort of a spice flavor that I'm, I'm get, picking up on. Um, but uh, all in all, a good beer, great beer for, uh, this is what I'm going to call another one of those lawnmower beers, um, the Wolf Pup Session IPA, because this is, you could, I put it to, why I call them lawnmower beer, 
the lawn mower bears. I grew up in the Midwest where um, mowing your lawn every weekend was, uh, it wasn't the written law, but it was the understood law. And oftentimes you sit down, you start drinking a beer, and if you're anything like me, you start looking around at the lawn going, oh, I missed a spot over there, a spot over there, blah, blah, blah. Well, you could drink this, realize that you missed a spot over here, there, wherever, go and mow it, and everything would be fine. So that's why I call them lawnmower beers. But anyway, uh, buck ninety nine uh, for this twelve ounce can, four point five ABV, session IPA, Wolf Pup session IPA from Golden Rome Brewing out of Los Angeles, California. Can beers, gotta love them. So I'm probably gonna be giving this, uh, I think a, a three point seven five, I think is fair on uh, Untapped. Until next time, drink good beer, don't break the bank doing it, and cheers.